What's up guys? Today I took one of Spencerworks scar barrels and modified it a little bit to suit the worker darts better. Some of the things that I did was, first of all, I taped over the original holes where the strings go through to try and block them off so no air escapes out of those. It's only a temporary fix, I'll need something more permanent that's completely airtight. Secondly, I drilled porting holes a dart length from the end of the scar barrel. This vents all the air from behind the dart before the dart leaves the end of the barrel. This effectively eliminates the muzzle blast which can affect accuracy. I also changed where the fishing line goes in the scar barrel to make them straight. They no longer have a twist and all this does is help center the dart into the middle of the barrel. Now I tested this with both Gen 1 and Gen 2 worker darts and the accuracy was insane. I did test it with the ACC Gen 3 darts, but the accuracy was still pretty terrible. The darts fishtailed everywhere. It seems like this mostly benefits the worker darts. Your ACCs are still going to need to be spin stabilized. Now the reason I decided to even attempt this is because the worker darts lose a lot of velocity out of a scar barrel. So let's move over to the chronograph and see if this new type of barrel affects the FPS as much as a scar barrel does. Because I have about a thousand of the ACC Gen 3 darts, I'm going to be firing those for the FPS test. They also perform the best out of the Alpha Kit. So we should be able to see a more dramatic difference if this barrel still robs us of FPS. First up, I'll be testing without the barrel attachment. 219. 227. 219. 223. 227, 223, 234, 219, 235, 231, 233, 229, 228, 232, 228. This gives us an average FPS of 227 without the barrel attachment. Let's see how it performs with the barrel attachment. Again, for the purposes of testing, I'm just using electrical tape, so it's a friction fit, not 100% seal. So whatever difference there is here, we may have a higher FPS if I did have a perfect seal. 229. 234. 222 224, 244, 242. Okay, so first of all, I've never seen a reading from the Alpha Kit of 244 FPS before. That's, that's higher than I've ever seen. Secondly, we got an average of 234. That's 7 FPS that we've gained over not having the barrel attachment. Now I speculate why this may be in that the Alpha Kit is optimized for an 8kg spring, therefore the barrel is actually too short to effectively make use of a full 16kg spring load. So adding this extra length of barrel has improved our FPS. It would be interesting if someone out there made an even longer barrel attachment and see how far you can push the Alpha Kit. Now these numbers are all well and good, but there's no real point to them if we don't also gain accuracy from this thing. Now, for those of you who saw my video on the Generation 2 worker darts, a lot of mine are now missing the heads, so I only have about five to work with, so I will have to go pick them up after I fire five darts. Cue the golden eye music.
In summary here, we had an 85.7% hit rate. This is up from 50% without the attachment. My thoughts on this attachment? I'll definitely be using this or other future iterations of this in conjunction with the worker darts going into the near future. This does nothing to help the ACC Gen 3 darts though, so I'll be phasing those darts out in favour of the workers. Some improvements I plan to make is increasing the seal on this barrel attachment and possibly replacing the strings with 3D printed grooves. Other than that, I hope you've enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.